Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with the monthly reads for the month of September 2022. This reading is going to be for the sign of Libra. So Libra, let's see how the month of September is going to be for all of you out there. I will be adding oracle cards and color cards in this reading, so stay tuned. And uh, Before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it is a general read. It may and it may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the signs and messages that resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's dive into the read and let's find out what is coming up for Libras and the month of September. Let's begin. Seven of Cups. Temperance. I feel like you know, you're feeling kind of lost. Um, Maybe there is a specific area of your life which you are feeling uh, uncertain about, but that uncertainty is is making everything uh, uh, kind of like uh, unclear to you. You are feeling like, you know, what's going to happen then, if I do this, if I do that. So there is a lot of indecisiveness, lack of clarity, uncertainty all around you. Uh, you're finding it very hard to stay peaceful and have patience around the current ongoing situations that you are dealing with. I feel like, you know, this month is going to be like, you know, you are walking into this month with that energy. Let's see more cards here. Um, I feel like, you know, slowly but surely you're going to get some sort of clarity around things. Um, especially, I would recommend you to have some meditations done. Try to calm yourself. Try not to clutter your mind with different thoughts, the different consequences, maybe. Um... Try, try to let go of the extra burden that you might be taking around certain things in your life right now. Love, work, home life, buying, purchasing, selling, this, that. Just try to calm yourself up. Try to take some time off from worldly pressures. As you are going to do that, you will see some, some, um, some divine uh, path forward. Why I say it's going to be divine part? Because I really see that divine really wants to help you with the current situation. So just try to have some peace. Try to meditate. Try to bring yourself down to that wholeness and that completeness of yourself. And as you do that, you will start seeing things clearly. What is the best thing for you to do right now? You'll be able to make your mind. You will be able to pick and prioritize what are the most important things for you right now so try you know uh, try doing that for yourself as you walk into the month of september i would suggest you to do that even before that because if you go into the month of september like this like you know with a lot in your head and nothing is like clear or anything it's, it's just going to mess your things up for you so make sure that you leave that uh, uncertainty behind in the month of August itself and walk into the month of September with some clarity at least. So I would suggest you to meditate. I would suggest you to kind of, you know, seek guidance from heavens. You can also book personal reads, but I, I really feel like, you know, there's a lot of calmness that is needed right now. Uh, maybe you're obsessing, you're like, you know, restless about certain things. Just try to calm yourself, which is going to be helpful a lot. Uh, set some big intentions for yourself. Just, just forget about what, how you're gonna do it, how you're gonna be like, yeah, this and that. Just try to like, you know, just let things be, let things go. Try to focus on, like, you know, yeah, you, 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 you just, you know, intend, you prioritize your life, and just do those little things and leave the rest. How is that going to happen? How will I get job? How will I get, you know? A car how will I get a proposal how will I you know get into a communication whatever it is whatever your concerns are just leave your concerns for some time just intend what is it that you want as if God is asking you tell me what do you want how do you say that like you know this is what I want what what would that add to your life just answer that to your question how would that feel how would that be that is going to ease you up to the point where you're going to feel like so relaxed. And once you are so relaxed, God is going to intervene in the situation, bring you the possibilities. As if like, you know, you put the genie to work and the genie is going to bring you solutions that this can be done, that can be done, that can be done. And then you're going to feel so much at peace. So try doing that for yourself. Like, you know, and wow, as you do that, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get your wishes fulfilled. So maybe you are right now, you know, like you are just, confusing yourself more and more and more with so many questions with so many like you know why this that just just calm just calm down once you are done or once you have done that 
wow, you have no idea what's coming in. Uh, so try doing that for yourself. Um, things will come to you itself. Like, you know, you will not have to find anything. Like, you know, it's just going to come to you. It's like, you know, opportunities, possibilities, this, that, whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you are concerned about, the worries will be gone and you will be getting what you wanted out of nowhere. So just try to calm yourself right now. There is nothing uh, which you are losing. There's nothing that you are like slipping away from, uh, you know, from you right now. Just, just allow things to happen. You know, you just have to calm yourself right now. Let's see what specifically is coming in for you for your love life. What can you expect in your love life? I feel like in a fair majority of you, maybe you are dealing with a person who is indecisive of you, to be honest. Uh, if that's the case, maybe you're feeling like, you know, um, how do I make this happen? How do I do this? How do I do that? Just relax. Like, you know, that's exactly what you need to do for your love life situation too. Where you just have to relax yourself right now. You don't have to think about how will they love me if I don't do this? You just relax. Just believe that, you know, just again, tell God what is it that you want? Why do you want it? How would you feel if you have it? So what change would that bring to you and your life? Once you've told that to yourself, to the God that you believe in, relax yourself, you know, and, and the more you are obsessing, the more you're like, you know, asking so many questions to yourself and how am I going to do that? You will not get any answer. Just relax and you will see all working out for you. So you've got to do that in the month of September. I feel like for the majority of you, this month is going to be like, um, maybe you're going to start off the month feeling very restless about your life, about your love life. But then as you walk into the month, as you go into the middle, then towards the end, you will see many possibilities, how you can have the things that you want in your life without putting much of the effort. So try to relax yourself. That's the best way to go about your life right now. Be that love, work or home life situation. Just in just pray just dream big right now so let's see the color cards let's see what two colors could be significant or lucky for you in the month of september plum overcome your challenges number 41 it's very important for you to overcome the challenges that you're having i feel like you know the major challenge for you right now is you're overthinking about certain things and you need to stop doing that you are like you know ask you know you are confusing yourself with the mental conversation that you are having the, the possible outcomes that you are thinking, the negativity that you have on your mind. So you got to break free from all of that. Um, auburn, ground yourself. This plum color and auburn color is going to be lucky for yourself, for you. And uh, 11th of September could be a significant date as well. But I feel like you know, it's going to be ideal time for you to um, break free from overthinking and all those things. Like, you know, the negative questions that you might be asking yourself. Why they are not talking to me? Why do they are doing this and that? Just focus on what you desire and let it come to you. Um, Again, I feel like, you know, that, that thing where you could talk to the God that you believe in, that's going to be perfect. That can change your life for better, for sure. So let's see the Oracle cards here. Let's see what else is coming up for you. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. I feel like, you know, whatever that is not working well for you, it's just going to bring you closer to the divine that you believe in. And once you have believed in the divine that you believe in, wow, you get miracles happening in your life. So just, just try that for yourself. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. The divine really wants you to know one thing. Like, you know, um, like if you have a crush on someone, if you, if, you, if you love someone, if you want someone, let this person know once. Express your love once and then forget about it. Like, you know, you just have to let your God know that this is what you want. This is what you love. Maybe you just need to express it to the, uh, to the person for some of you. For others of you, you just have to express your love for a specific someone to the divine that you believe in. And once you have done that, just surrender. Let the divine bring you the possibilities for you to have what you wanted with, the, with that specific someone. And you shall get that. So just try to express your love uh, for a specific someone. Be true to yourself, to the person. And if you have done that before and this person had given you no commitment and they are like, you know, uh, acting weird towards you, don't ever express that to you know them but yes talk to divine spend some time in uh in in uh, you know alone and try to talk to the god that you believe in and tell you know your god that this is what you want thing and wishing and hoping for and then bring peace to yourself once you have bring uh once you bring peace to yourself god is going to bring you the ideas inspired actions that uh, that he will push you to take to to get closer to what you want so just go about it like that so yeah i hope it was a help and wish you all the best take care bye